Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2013 on this fine American election day. It is a rather funny for me to watch as an Australian, which we'll get into a little bit later on in the episode, but Obama will win. That will surely ruffle a few feathers. But in Australia, just the Republicans look like an absolute bunch of idiots. But we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the episode, I'm sure. What I'm doing is, well, I already did a test run on the wool bales, and the wool comes out really quickly, which is pretty sweet. We got that really good. Yep, speed up time again so I can get to work on some more wool. So I'm going to wait it out until we get a full trailer full of wool. It shouldn't be that long. I think it'll be about eight full pallets worth. So this is almost falling down, which is not good. Okay, what's up here? Corn? Really? I've not had canola in ages and we've like continually had great demands for all the other stuff. Let's try to do this perfectly. Let's try to back out. Oh, 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 oh. No. This could be very dangerous. Um, oh god, I don't like this. How about we do that? Okay. No! Alright. Time to rethink, rethink our strategy. Let's drive in once more. Really? It was too low? Oh, it's just the angle. So now we're doing more harm than good, to be honest. Alright, well, that's not working. We're not going to be able to do, like, double them up. It's also probably because I have the pallet just on so weirdly. Oh, well. Let's place this down. There we go, finally. That took a bit of time. You can get it perfectly, but it'll take forever. And probably this uh, front loader isn't the best one for it. Let's actually go ahead and check. What other front loaders are there? I think there might be one a tractor one with it. No. I think maybe you can get attachments. So let's go front loaders. There we go. There's one, the Dutes Agro Vector. Or the Dutes Agro Farm 430 with front loader. That's the one with the tractor that you guys wanted. Okay. It's got some other silage stuff as well. This thing is quite good. $132,000 as well, which is no real problem. But as you can see, the wool's already at 35%, so you do get that wool pretty quickly, especially with the amount of sheep which we have, which is 150. Still got lots of food for them. But what we should do is we've already done the grass. So let's go back and start cutting some grass. Now we're going to turn on the forage wagon. We're going to change tools and go to turn it on. So we turn it on by pressing B. And off we go driving. So yeah, talking about the American election, a couple weeks ago now I put uh, 60 or so dollars. However, I had how much money I had on my in my betting account on uh, Barack Obama? It was at a dollar forty to win the election. Now he's gone down to a dollar twenty to win. Uh, so thankfully, I will make a bit more money instead of like because I bet it a bit earlier. But at a dollar forty, I'm going to be making back. It's only like twenty dollars at sixty dollars or so. So all in all, I get about eighty dollars, but twenty dollar profit, which is okay. But of course, Barack Obama will win. I'm not really sure why the media is just hyping it up to be such a uh, close election. Because, okay, maybe uh, it'll be close in terms of the popular vote, but there's no way it'll be close in terms of the Electoral College vote. Barack Obama's definitely got it in the bag. It's just ridiculously obvious that he has it, and this, the media seems to be playing the election up. Which doesn't really make too much sense to me, but I'm sure I'm ruffling a few feathers saying this. The best thing about like the election in, in the future and just with social media and technology is just the amount of idiots that come up on Twitter. I was reading, there was this article that I was looking at, you had some people in America that were saying, if Obama wins, they're moving to Australia. I don't think these people realize that Australia's got socialized healthcare and we've got gun control. 
I think isn't that what they exactly what they hate about uh, America or or Obama's America? Just people blow my mind. Really <laughs> weird. So all right, we're collecting a heck of a lot of grass now. The best thing about grass is you only need to seed it once, and then you're all good, good to go. So what I think I'll do is once we get a fair amount of grass, I'll go ahead and get that seeder again, and I'll probably drive back to my farm and uh, grow some other stuff out. Although that means I have to play at a much, much slower speed. And then, unfortunately, the great demands, they don't work on real time, they work on game time. So it's, you get more great demands if you play at a really fast pace. We'll actually wait until we get another 100% of the wool. So we can go ahead and actually we'll deliver the rest of the wool. We'll see how much money we'll make from it. It should be a fair amount. We should probably make back that trailer, I'd say. It's a lot of sheep though, for such a small area. Oh yes, and hopefully you guys did enjoy as well my uh, modding episode. I will be doing that a lot more frequently. Let's just turn everything off, fold it back up, turn off my foraging wagon. Okay, now, the pen's all on the other side, which is just that much more confusing. Next time I'll try to go ahead and do the bales a little bit better, but it's so hard to do. I'll probably need a much better front loader. Very nice, it's going to last me quite a while. Just need to move, let's move you into the garage. I'll satisfy all you guys with OCD that really hate how I don't really do anything properly. Alright, you know what? Well, that's at 95%. We could wait it out a little bit. Let's try to push this a little bit further. This one. If I can. Seems perfect, it's almost. We're gonna. What the hell? Why am I pushing it? Okay, that should be good. Almost a bit further. Yeah, that's all good. Now we'll go get this bale. No, I should do. I should put it right next to it, like on the far side, like I did this way. There we go. That's a lot better. Now I think the trailer is a little bit lopsided, so we'll try to even it out with this new bunch of wool bales. Have to roll this up. Well, I'm glad we're doing something new in the game instead of just something that was in the previous couple of games. Because I've been playing this farming simulator since 20, well, 2009. The 2011 edition is when I started on YouTube, so. But it's all pretty much exactly the same. I think, I think that they actually are using the same engine as the 2009 one, it's just a little bit better graphics. But, here, here comes the business. Now, if we can do this properly, it will be all good. But I doubt we could do it properly. Just gonna make sure we angle everything correctly. Yes. Oh, yes. That is so good. That is beautiful. Alright, now let's go to the cedar. 
We're going to be driving a little bit, unfortunately. But we are going to be doing two episodes today, which is great fun. But yeah, the election in the eastern states, the polling is closed now. So. See, see the dedication I have for you guys? I'd be watching the election now on our uh, public broadcaster funded by the Australian taxpayer because Australia is clearly a communist country as Fox News would have you believe. I don't think I'm going the right way though, am I? Nope, definitely not. Well, let's go this way. Actually, I think there is a path along the river. There might be, at least. What the hell is this? This seems interesting. Let's actually go there. What is that? I wouldn't be surprised if there were a, there's a horseshoe somewhere here. No? Oh, really? Okay, it looks nice. Whatever it is. I thought it was like a mill or something. So there was a mill next to a river in the previous game. But I guess they haven't given us that liberty in this game. Oh, and well, this will not. Actually, why am I driving with this? Uh, where exactly are we with you? Thank God you things can't get swept away in the river. <laughs> See, that was so much quicker than actually driving there. So... See, the thing I'm not too keen on is just how long it will take to seed everything. But I'm going to have to go seed something else. Instead of just canola. So I think we'll go with a bit of wheat. Yeah, we haven't done wheat in a while. I still don't have any bailing technology, which is very sad. There we go, that's what we want. Actually, wait, I had to have $176,000 because of my solar collectors being getting all the money all the time. Yeah, potatoes, I don't care about potatoes. We keep on getting potatoes, keep on getting everything apart from canola. I think what this might be about is actually um, supply and demand. I think finally the game actually does take into account supply and demand because we've been selling a lot of canola. Maybe that's why. And we've been neglecting potatoes and corn and that. Maybe that's why. Hopefully that's why at least. I need to tell you to move out of the way. So a guy can sow his wheat in perfect peace. But, because we have the money, I want to go ahead and, well, it's not escape, it's the shop menu. Yeah, I did install the mods, so, oh, the coin, oh, 30%. Oh, I didn't want to actually pay for this, but, oh, damn, this is good. It's good stuff. I was by that. But we also should, should slow down time. Is that serious to just pay for that? And then I still have $83,000 left. Oh, that's crazy. Alright, let's go have a check at our splurge that I shouldn't have really spent my money on, but I did. Okay, oh, this is, yeah, so this is completely new. It actually adds quite a bit to the gameplay. You make the perfect food for the cows. So we've got to have the perfect amount of hay, the perfect amount of silage, and the perfect amount of straw. And then we mix it up together, and we shake it all about, and uh, then we'll give it to the cows, and then they create a heck of a lot of milk. So, I think we should drive that over to the, where the cows are. I'm not exactly sure if we should do that, but... So, this vehicle is just going to pretty much just not do much at all. Though is it? No. Oh, boy. The physics on that. Alright, so we've got to drive this vehicle down to the cows, I guess. So, there's no other way I could really make quick money apart from just selling the canola which isn't something that I really want to do yeah corn's, okay. corn's pretty good though 1.9% actually you know what maybe I should go ahead and buy a corn header just start using the corn a little bit maybe because it doesn't really sell for that much, maybe it's extremely dense. I wouldn't be surprised if that were the case. And there's a lot of corn great demands as well. So we could use that to our advantage as well. But 
more importantly, we're going to drive to the cars, wherever they may be. We have fuel at 57%. That's going to take a long time now because we're not playing at 100, well, yeah, 120 times speed. Let's go back through more statistics. Eggs, I don't really care about. Cows, okay, that's to the left. And we don't care about this, we want to go to here. There we go. So here, we don't have any manure, really. But we had a heck of a lot of manure. Unless someone takes it and sells it. Oh no, liquid manure, sorry. sorry. Wait, so there's manure and then there's liquid manure. I really don't know the difference. That's weird. Um, but we need to give them mixed rations, yes. So this is the mixing ratio. Mixed ration food. So we've given them a lot of uh, grass to eat. So this should stay here. Let's just look at all the other stuff. Press mouse buttons for additional options. Okay. So this like mixes it up or something? What's it do? Oh, what the hell is this? Wait, does that mean we can turn it on somehow? Let's just close the PDA. Turn on mixer. Okay, I understand that that's the mixer down there. In that bucket, but what does this do? Can we cut grass with this? No, clearly not. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess I have to learn how to use this. Still will take a while. But I wanted to buy it just because it was 30% off and we'd need it anyway. So I thought it's a good purchase. So in the meantime, what's going on? Is a good question. You're sawing quite slowly, but it's a big field. So I'm not going to be too harsh on you. Hmm. I could do those missions, but I'm not going to. Now, you're just waiting about. You, I'm not exactly sure where I told you, why I told you to be here, but okay. Wait, so we're going to get hay with you. Okay, I, I understand this. So what I'll do... Yeah. Like this vehicle. What's that? Yeah. Okay. So the reason I did that is because we want to go to where the cows are now. But what I want to do is get them all up at the front. Wait. There it is. Okay. And then we'll put this tether at the back, because I've never used it. I don't want to see what it does. It's, well, it's the best one that we can get as well, so... Something to keep an eye out on. Come on, this should be more than good enough. Go! I could go on talking a bit more about the Republicans, but I'm sure most of you guys wouldn't want me to just berate the Republicans all that much because, for whatever reason, lots of Americans actually take the Republicans seriously, which is quite uh, worrying because Australia has pretty much no greater threat than a Republican president. Although none of the Australian politicians would ever say so because of all of our treaties and our defense treaties. So Australia has to rely on the major global blue water navy for its defences and the country with the biggest blue water navy is obviously America so we rely on them for our defences but invading Australia is pretty much impossible for any nation they just take way too many resources and it's not really worth the price for any other nation because Japan in World War II, they oh god, I turned my Xbox on. That's a little awkward. Oh, and we're gonna crash, and we're gonna glitch up. No! Alright, that means we're gonna have to use the good old Q. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. That worked out perfectly. Almost. Let's try to reverse our way. Wait, I should fold this, shouldn't I? 
G fold. There we go. This is how I should have been driving the whole time. That makes a lot more sense. But yeah, Japan tried to invade Australia back in the day. Actually, wait, no, they didn't. They never actually had plans to. They just bombed Darwin. And a bit more of the uh, north coast. So obviously, Australia is uh, pretty much like America, apart from we're a complete island. So everyone pretty much lives on the coast. Uh, and we have a heck of a lot less people. We pretty much have the population of Florida in a nation as big as America. So, we have the grass cutter, so they'll be cutting the grass, and then we have this wind grower which supposedly collects the grass and puts it into one neat line. I've never really used it, so we're going to be learning something together, which I'm excited about. And let's unfold the windrower. Turn it on. Oh, that looks nice. Wait, what did I do that for? Because, oh, really? If you tab out, it's like stops. Unfold it. Turn it on, so... X. No, sorry. What do we turn? Oh, B. And press G to switch over to lower. V, B, X. Okay. Off we go. Oh, I see how. Well, okay. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. Okay. Even though, see, we don't really have that much of a big mower, so. That's still okay. What can collect all this stuff up? Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. And we can't get our way out of it. So what if we reverse? There we go. Extremely slowly, but it does the job. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So, apart from this, let's get out of here. Go into tethers. Balance technology, there we go. So how long is this? 17.2 meters long, $36,000. You know what, I'm gonna invest in this as well. Because I need to learn how to make hay. And then I think we needed some bailing technology after that. So we're just splurging absolutely everything. So what we're going to do is unload both of these. Yeah, there we go. You go home, and you go back to our home base as well. Okay. Now we're going to drive that tether back up. And what the tether does, supposedly, is it dries the grass. So we're well on our way to making the mixed crop for our cars. Because that thing looks scary. All these spikes everywhere. How's that guy going? He's done about half the field, which is nice. Oh yes, and supposedly there is a horseshoe. I've been reading like comments in the older videos. There is a horseshoe on my doorstep. Or something like that. Ah, oh, there it is. Plus one, horseshoe. Okay. That's nice. Can't spot any more? Nope. Okay. What's this machine? Looks like a really olden day cultivator or something. It's like that agricultural simulator, uh, historical version or whatever they call it. Which I do have, but it's a rather poor game. It doesn't really explain to you at all what to do. Like, I know how to actually farm, but I'm not exactly sure where to go, and it's not as intuitive as Farming Simulator is, and that's saying something, because this game isn't very intuitive at all. You're going to pretty much learn everything by yourself, and you've got to struggle, and pretty much go on farms to learn anything about what to do. I'm tempted to speed up time, just that little bit extra, but I know that our farm back home isn't going to be ready yet and I really don't like patchy fields it doesn't look good and it's not very efficient either
Oh, and there's, uh, also, there's some other mods. I'd really recommend continually checking the Farming Simulator official website because uh, with the mods there, uh, there's some pretty good ones. You can have, you can buy mobile fuel tanks. You can buy mobile fertilizer. Well, not mobile fertilizer. You can paste fertilizer wherever you choose. Now let's unfold the tenner. So that's X. I want to turn it on his B, but it's still going to unfold again, isn't it? It's going to unfold twice. Yep. That looks pretty sweet. It's kind of neat. There's all the springs or whatever. Wow. Okie dokes. So, we turn it on by pressing B. Okay. Now, this is dry. should be dried now. There we go. So, supposedly now this is dried grass. Looks a bit weird, but okay. Okay, well, so that's a fair amount of dried grass. Let's just go to this little corner as well. Okay, that's good. I think, yep, yeah, we're just regurgitating, regurgitating what we've already done. Turn it off. Alrighty. So we'll leave all these cutting tools over here because we'll need them over here pretty much a lot more than we need over where the sheep are. Okay, unfortunately I did speed up that little row. Oh, really? No, that sucks. Okay, how are we going to get rid of this? We're going to have to reverse. Okay. You can't reverse if you have a hard work. There we go. Unattach that. Then attach this and drive it out of the way. Okay, this is actually filled with canola. So, back to sewing it is with you. It shouldn't be too bad. It should all go pretty smoothly. Oh, I'm put it up this. Okay. Make sure you don't have your ridge marker somewhere where you don't want. No, 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 no. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Stop, stop. Because the ridge marker actually does destroy the sewed crop, which is something that we do not want. There we go. That should work out all good. Okay. So I doubt you'll be able to still pick the dried grass up there, will you? The hay. Turn it on by pressing B. Roll this down. Nope, that's not working either. So, I think what you have to do, well, I'm pretty sure, I'm not, the only problem is I don't understand what this front part does. But what I've seen is you need to add some hay bales into the back using your front loader as well as some, I think, hay, hay bales and straw, yeah, straw bales as well. Not exactly sure how to do all the stylage stuff, but we've got a lot to learn in terms of doing all that. It's a uh, completely new gameplay element. So you know what? I th I'm thinking about leaving this tract over here. Oh, what are I um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave this, all these uh, toys over here, and probably take the tractor back to my home base. I'm not exactly sure why I need to do that, but you know what? I think I'll speed time up a little bit just to make the uh, crop grow a little bit quicker. But we'll be back with another episode today. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. And uh, we'll be back very shortly.